In September of last year, I went to the James Dean Festival in Fairmount, Indiana. It lasts for four days and they have many fun activities planned like a car show, parade, and screening of his movies. The first place I visited on my long list of things to see, and trust me, it's a very, very long list, was the James Dean Gallery. And the gallery is ran by collector David. There is an impressive amount of James Dean memorabilia. I literally spent over an hour here looking at everything. There's so much stuff to see and it's just great, especially if you're a collector, because then you kind of know what to look for and keep your eyes out and you know what's out there. And they also have a screening room that plays Dean's early television performances and interviews as well. The next stop was the James Dean bust made by artist Kenneth Kendall. In 1958, a bronze of the bust was installed at James Dean's grave, but it disappeared nine months later and it was never found. So this new bust is located at the James Dean Memorial Park and was dedicated in 1995. And after visiting the bus, we were now in downtown Fairmount. And they do block off the downtown area for the festival. Like, the whole downtown area is blocked off. And the festival has rides and games and, of course, food and booths as well. And although the downtown is an if-you-blink-you'll-miss-it kind of a size, it does have a lot of, like, cool shops to go into and a cafe. And there was this really awesome antique shop that I went into. And it was literally floor-to-ceiling antiques it was hard to walk through it was like a maze it was really cool actually i personally liked it i was really excited to visit all the james dean photo spots and they do have the spots marked and even have footprints on the ground but of course i didn't know that so i spent the whole day beforehand finding all the locations so you don't actually have to do that they do have them marked <laughs> i then got a coffee and we headed right over to the fairmount historical museum to see their huge and i mean huge collection of James Dean's like personal items and I spent a long time here. They have so many things from movie worn outfits to his house lease like his last house that he leased they have the lease and they even have his shirt that he wore in East of Eden which is my favorite James Dean movie of all time and I freaked out so much <laughs> about that because that's just it's one of my favorite movies. So after this, we walked to the site of Fairmount High School where James Dean graduated from in 1949. The school did close in 1986 and it started collapsing in like 2013. And in 2014, they finally demolished it because the ceiling had caved in and it was really just so much hazard and they didn't want people getting hurt. Now all that is left is some stairs and a little walkway and the empty lot is now used for parking during the festival. I'm pretty sure there was a lot of cars parked there, so I'm guessing it was because of the festival. The cool thing is, is you can buy a brick from the high school at the Fairmount Historical Museum. And yes, I did buy one, and now I just call it my fancy paperweight. <laughs> we then walked to the James Dean Run, which is a car show that they have with cars from 1979 and older. And the car show does take place at Play Acres Park, which is a really short walk from the high school. And his cousin, Marcus Winslow, has the car that James Dean has drove on display there, along with the family tractor that Dean took a photo in front of. We then went to the church where they held James Dean's funeral in 1955, and where they held a memorial service every year for him on the anniversary of his death. And people go there, and it's kind of a big deal. <laughs> I didn't get to go there for that, but hopefully one of these days I will make it there for that. Ooh. Look at that, just very pretty. <laughs> oh, beautiful. A place I forgot to visit was the Ames Hunt Funeral Home, where that picture of Dean in the coffin was taken, and where they also did hold his like wake in 1955. We then drove to the next few locations, and this place was... Carter's Motors Indian Motorcycle Shop, where James Dean did get his first motorcycle, which is so cool. Like, look at this, guys. Oh, it's still here and everything. You definitely can't see inside. They have it boarded up. And they have, obviously, lights and stuff like that. That is just oh, so cool. Oh, you can see inside, though. They do have stuff in there. Which is really cool. Oh, and even says 
James Dean up there. I don't know if you guys can see that. Oh, that's awesome. Next, we went to this church here where he was in his first ever play. And then we went to his gravesite in Park Cemetery where people kiss his headstone and leave flowers for him. And they also leave cigarettes and all sorts of other things for him, which is actually pretty cool. Weird that they kiss his headstone. I I personally wouldn't do that. I don't want germs. Sorry, guys. The rest of you guys have fun with that. I'm, I'm not doing that. <laughs> and our last stop was the Winslow Farm where Dean lived after his mother had passed with his aunt and uncle. And his cousin now owns the farm and currently lives there. And the last place that I did not go to was the birthplace of Dean, which is in Marion, Indiana. And he was born at the Seven Gables Apartment House on February 8th, 1931. They have a monument marking the location where he was born now, and they used to have a star right there in the ground on the sidewalk, and they still do have it there. They just moved it over, but yeah, it is still currently there, and yeah, that is all the fun stuff you can do in Fairmount and in Marion, Indiana, that they have, and it's really fun to go to the James Dean Festival. If you get a chance, definitely go to it. It's so much fun, and you can walk to pretty much all these locations, except for the ones where I said that we drove to. Those are the only ones that you can't walk to. You could if you wanted, but they'd take a really, really long time. But uh, yeah, pretty much everything is downtown, and it's easy access, and it's a lot of fun. I had a really fun time there, and I was expecting to be like kind of an in and out sort of thing and not spend a whole day there but I could have spent literally the whole day there and still spent like a long time there we didn't even get to see much of the like car show that they have because we just didn't have time it was just so much to see and it is definitely worth it if you can make it definitely go to it because it's really fun and I had just the best time so yeah if you did like this video leave a like down below and I will see you guys all in the next one